What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. We're back at Copart for another walk around. We're gonna jump into this video today and see what we can find. And if you guessed trucks, trucks, and more trucks than you guessed right, because uh, you guys said you wanted to see some trucks. It's been a long time since we've gone into trucks on the channel at the salvage auction. So I figured it's a good time to jump in here and just take a look around and see what we can find. I see, uh, I see an old Ford Dually back here. I gotta take a look at it. It's probably crunched. I don't know, maybe not. Hold on, hold on, it's back here. I caught it out of the corner of my eye. And listen, if you catch something that I missed, do me a solid if you're interested in seeing it and leave a comment down below with a timestamp. Tell me what it is and what I missed. And if it's here, I'll be more than happy to come back and try to check it out for you the next time I'm here. And what I found is I got myself a brand new fishing rod. I think it's missing a couple pieces. No, it's this, it's this Ford Dually, man. This beautiful F-350, obviously power stroke diesel. It's got a block heater on the front. I love this truck. It's an O2. I love this kind of sun visor that they put over this. It looks really old school. Mechanical issue, key done. So this is at a dealer auction for sure. Oh, we got a diesel tank in the back here. Yes, we do. Wow. Does it have the original? So it's got this tank and then it's got an additional diesel tank. And then of course you've got a toolbox. <coughs> and then of course, looks like you got your fifth wheel rails right here, your gooseneck rails, whatever they are, either fifth wheel or gooseneck, probably uh, probably gooseneck would be my guess. Now, why is this here? I'm guessing because it looks so good, aside from needing a paint job, the other side, no. Well, oh. I, 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 how I missed that, I don't know. I, I don't know how I missed this. Yeah, she got crunched, man. Now, it's not the end of the world. I mean, okay, it needs a bed. Is that really worth totaling it over? I guess so. I guess it is. It's got damn good tires. You know, the, uh, the mud flap there is kind of in the way. But take that off and you could drive this. What's interesting is I see the, the auction markings from dealer auto auction on the back. So when I see that, it does, it's not a deal breaker, but it does kind of concern me when I see that because it means that someone tried selling it at the other auction, it didn't sell there, so then they brought it here. Now, why wouldn't something like this sell at a dealer auction? Well, that's a good question. It says mechanical, right? So I have to assume there's something really, really broken with this truck. We're gonna check it out though. Maybe, maybe they got it wrong. They probably didn't, guys. Just give me a heads up. Expect the worst, okay? First, let's see if it's got any power. No, and that key is sticky. That's a sticky key. Somebody did just make a key for it. Um, it's dead. Looks like you've got your Firestone airlift in the back, so you can uh, you can raise the back end up if you have a load on it. You've got your cup holders; they look like they work. What else? I don't know. Adjustable seats, adjustable pedals. You got fuses out the yin yang in here. Good lord, relays too. That can't be good. Um, tilt wheel, and then you got this. What is? It's a bejeweled. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know. Well, let's pop the hood. Let's take a look at what she's working with here. Um, you know, throw a bed on it. Obviously, it's going to need a paint job. I think we got bigger fish to fry because this thing says mechanical. Um, hold up. This is burnt. Was This was on fire. And the batteries are still hooked up. Really? Um, uh, <laughs> so this is crispy. This side is melted, right? Um, it's also fiberglass, so I gotta be careful messing with it. But all of this is melted, charred, and burnt. And the batteries are still hooked up. So my question, I guess, is, was this damage like pre-existing damage? This is from a long time ago and the problem has been fixed. Or is this one of those deals where if I were to start it up, you know, 
it would catch on fire. Huh. Well, that's an interesting question. Uh, somebody's cut a bunch of wires under here, a bunch of wires. There's a ton of wires just cut and hanging under here. So I'm, I'm gonna pull this one up on Copart's website and I'm gonna find out if they started it because if they started it, then, well, we could probably start it as well. Well, unfortunately, this one is sold. So we're not gonna bother trying to start it up. Um, with that said, Copart had it listed as a start, but not a drive. So apparently Copart did fire this thing up. Uh, so yeah, I guess it ran. It did not drive though. It was listed as a start, which means it does not go into gear and that's probably why it had the mechanical listed on it for damage. So we will continue on our way. We got so many trucks out here and I mean, they're just, you, you got your pick. What do you want? You got Ford Dodge and Chevy and, and, and that's it. So, you know, I do tend to get a little bored walking through the trucks because it's like, we're just looking at the same things from different generations over and over and over again now i do see a little toyota up here and that's kind of rare all right and it's kind of sad they threw a they threw this little <laughs> they threw this little toyota tundra uh out here with all these big trucks this little bitty little bitty truck trying to hang in here with the big ones oh and here you go you got a sticker on the back bumper sticker says my boss is a jewish carpenter i think we all know who he's talking about yeah this thing is uh you know honestly it wasn't in too bad a shape before the accident really uh oh there we go it's in uh it's in pretty pretty bad shape now so we're not going to spend any time looking at that one but we will continue on our way we'll see what else we can find It'd be nice if we could find like one of those old square bodies you know out here but i do see this kind of lifted up duramax i don't know i guess that's a 2500 looks like it took a little hit in the front we'll go look at that chevy over there and then we got a ford over here too nice interesting headlights you got these led projection headlamps oh there is is that blood all over the interior i think there's blood everywhere on the interior okay so uh i don't think i can show you this one get let's hold on a minute let me just let me just double check here i'll sit this down I don't know it that it looks like somebody you know just stay here don't go don't look inside oh wow uh wait a minute wait a minute that's not blood <laughs> that's not blood oh okay <laughs> oh that yeah okay <laughs> they got me they got me I don't know if you can see on that pillar over there, probably not, and I don't feel like climbing all the way up into it, but basically they did the splatter paint thing all over, and all I saw over there on that pillar from the outside was tons of red splatter all over it, and I was like, oh boy, uh, this is bad. No, <laughs> it's not. It's just, uh, just somebody's little artistic impression on the truck there. Let's close these up so I can get through. Um, there's no room here, guys. I'm gonna end up cutting something off, mess around with some of these vehicles over here. Uh, open, good Lord. It's got a new radiator. It's got some aftermarket pipes, it looks like. A uh, lot, uh, lot of salt, it looks like, residue all up under here. I don't know guys yeah I do I'm not interested in this what I do with my bag let me grab the bag let's continue looking around now you know if this was a dually I'd probably be all over it but one of the things I really like about this is it has this uh, this power lift gate on the back I can't remember what these things they used to be called something like a Jimmy lift or a, a Tommy gate that's it right there a Tommy gate yeah, man, makes it so easy. You know, get rid of that toolbox. You got this whole bed and you can lift so many heavy, heavy things with this. Load it right into the back of your truck. Makes hauling stuff a breeze. So I see a King Ranch F-150 over there. Then I see a, a Platinum sitting right here in front of us. So 
So we're gonna take a look at the Platinum real quick. It's Power Stroke 250 Lariat. And uh, is it a nice truck? It is. This doesn't even look wrecked, you guys. So how much you want to bet it was like stolen? Maybe hail damage? This thing actually, this looks too good. Why is this here? I don't see any hail damage. It's an insurance car. It was picked up in February 7th, so it's not been here long. It's a 14. Somebody put silicone all over the lights. Yeah, why is this here? It's got to be a repo. How much you want to bet that's a repo? You got Sensodyne, you got dirty jeans, you got boots and Swiffers and chairs. I'd almost put money on it. This is either a repo or this is a theft. Let's take a look at the interior. Maybe it's tr Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Seen this a million times. This is where somebody jacks somebody's car, you know what I mean? They take somebody's vehicle and they just kind of run off with it. So it could be a repossession though, could be. Somebody looks like they might have been trying to live up in here or something. Let's see how it looks in here. Not too bad. It's got some wear for sure. She got some miles on her. It's not awful though. Guarantee it dead as a doornail. The diesels always are. Yeah, completely dead. Is this something I really want to screw around with? Probably not. Like realistically, this isn't something I'm going to bid on. It's too much money. And I already got too many trucks. Now, again, if I find something worthy, I'll absolutely try to start it up and bid on it. Like the, uh, what was that from the other video? The red, uh, the red Dodge, the Dodge Ram 2500 Cummins. That one, it's not for sale, but it's on my list. All right. And I'm dead serious about that one. Really like that truck. Now here's a newer Tundra. See how much bigger it is than the one we just looked at? I mean, this thing is huge compared to that little bitty Tundra. Obviously this one's wrecked in the front because, well, the whole front end is in the bed. And you got this, I'm assuming that was a Ford. Um, generally speaking, it's the Fords that always look like this after a fire. You got a power wagon over there. I'll have to take a look at that. I do kind of miss my power wagon. Let's see how bad this front end is. It doesn't look that bad, really. That didn't look bad at all. Okay, well, whatever. Looks like it's got a little bit of frame damage. I'm guessing that's that's why they they totaled it right there. You can see an X right on the frame rail. Had it not been for that, this thing still be on the road. Another F-150, tons of Fords. Just so many Fords. Now this, it should have the winch in the front. Yes, it does. It's got the winch with the synthetic rope. Let's set this down here. Man, oh man. The Ram 2500 Power Wagon with the 6.4 Hemi. These things are beasts, man. Um, it's got the Ram box too. God, I love that. Watch out walking around out here because these some of this stuff will slice you up. God, why is this here? Let me guess, wrecked on this side? No, it's not. It's not. This thing looks beautiful. Take a peek at the interior. Oh, there's mud. Oh, this thing, I think this has been flooded. Look at this. There's literally mud all the way up to the doors. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this thing went under. Somebody uh, went a little too hard, guys. You could see the staining down there, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she, uh, she got a little deep. I'm going to assume it's probably done run. <laughs> oh, wow. And it's even worse up here. Good night. Take a look. So it got all the way up there, but it also got all the way up here. Yeah, they had to use the emergency release for the transmission. Surprisingly, it doesn't smell like a flood vehicle. It, it really doesn't. We're obviously not going to try to start this. I will push the start button, though, just to see if anything happens. No? Um, this is also interesting. The speedometer and tack stopped. The... Temperature gauge stopped. So this thing was running at about 3,500 RPM. And the speedometer was running about 45 miles an hour when this thing... And uh, I guarantee you, let's pop the hood. I guarantee a motor is locked up. Like this thing is done. 
somebody thought they had more truck than they really had. Uh, I'll tell you what, I loved my power wagon. Fuel economy was, well, you don't buy these for fuel economy, so let's just get that out of the way. Uh, yeah, it sucked when it came to gas. Somebody disconnected the disconnected the battery. Probably a, a safe thing to do. There's spider webs under here. This thing's been sitting for a while. How much you want to bet she's got way too much oil in her? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, she's, she's pretty well over the full mark. <laughs> yeah, she sucked up some water. And kaboom, there goes the engine. Which means you probably got water in the transmission, transfer case, everything. It's a, uh, I don't know. I'm not saying it's a total loss, but the water got pretty damn high in here, guys. This is not a cheap truck. So take a look. I mean, just look at all the mud in here. Yeah, somebody had just a little too much fun. They sent her just a little too hard. That's a shame. I loved my power wagon. Um, it was a little more truck, honestly, than what I needed. I did, however, pull my Humvee. I had one of those military Humvees. Some of you guys may remember that. I got it stuck. I high centered it. And uh, I used the power wagon and my winch. Man, it jerked that thing out like it was nobody's business. It had no issues pulling that Humvee out. And that Humvee's heavy. All right, I think we're about done with the trucks. We got another Dirty Max, 4x4 Allison. We got a power stroke over here. What else we got? Back here, we got a F-150, another one, a little Nissan. This is a Frontier, I think. F-150 and last but certainly not least, certainly, certainly, we got a police car. Police truck, I should say. That's interesting. Now it's got a frame destroyer on the front. It's still got its lights. Are you kidding me? Hold up, <laughs> hold up. I am a sucker, well yeah, I am a sucker, but I'm a sucker for these police vehicles with lights, man. Light horse police, that sounds like tribal. We have a lot of tribal police out here. Let's, uh, let's take a look at this. The Seminole Nation Police, yep, there you go. Um, I'm gonna go out on a limb and I'm gonna say there's frame damage. And I'm gonna also guess there's probably some some significant undercarriage damage to this? You know, I don't know. Uh, that ain't good, man. This is a Weston HDX heavy duty. But like I said, guys, it's got all the lights on it, man. I'm gonna point this camera up under here. Oh, wow, yeah. Yeah, there's some, there's some damage. For sure. <laughs> the radiator and everything is all out of whack, man. This thing came to an abrupt halt. The question is, though, is how difficult would this be to get running again? You know, the gaps for the fender and the front door look good. We'll have to check the other side. It's still got the, the bars. It's got the cage. They even give you a nice, supple leather interior for your prisoners. How about that? Oh, I would, I would buy this in a heartbeat. Now this is going to go for more money, and I'm going to want to spend. What year is this? Let's take a look. I mean, it's a base model, F-150-22. Yeah, this is going to go for some money. She'll go for some money. No bags deployed though, really. Oh man, it comes with a, a gun handcuff. Multiple, you could put two shotguns in here, guys. Look at that. How about that? Wow, unfortunately, it looks like they took out all the, all the goodies that you would need to make the lights work. I mean, all the wires are here. So I guess all you need is the control module. Oh, there's a card right here for the Seminole Nation Police Department, Central Dispatch, and the officer that was most likely driving this. Hopefully, uh, hopefully he's okay. Huh, you got some masks. You got your light right here. Check that out, man. How cool is this? Let's pop the hood. Take a quick peek. Just see what things look like, because uh, it's got some significant damage towards the bottom, guys. Uh, Man, I want this. I want this really, really bad. Let's see what engine we've got in it. It is the 5.0, oh, no, 3.5. All right. Well, you got your EcoBoost, no covers. You know, it still has coolant and nothing is pushed up into the engine, even though there is damage to the bottom where the radiator and everything goes. This thing probably runs, guys. Let's just put the key in it. 
let's put the key in it. How hard would it be to figure out what control module they used on this? Um, obviously, taking these decals off is such a pain. Ask me how I know. I can't believe they left everything and they didn't cut it up. Yeah, dead as a doornail. This is broken. I mean, this is, that was a hard hit. You know, no doubt it was a hard hit. If you could just figure out what control mechanism they were using for this, you could literally just wire this back in. You know, here's all the plugs, all the pigtails, and then you've got a power, a big power. You got a big ground right here, pink, probably some kind of like a remote wire. You've got a red wire here that was cut, a white wire. Okay, so you've got a few wires to figure out. You've got a network cable right here, which you shouldn't need for the laptop, an antenna cable. This would not be that hard to put back together, guys. Mileage shows as 10,000 miles on the odometer. 10,000 miles. So again, number one, this is a really cool truck because it's not just an F-150, but uh, it's a police truck. It still has all the badges, it has all the lights and everything. All you gotta do is find a control module. So that's gonna make it worth some money. Number two, it's, it's practically brand new. It's only got 10,000 miles on it. So again, it's gonna make it uh, exceptionally expensive and it's a Ford. Fords always go for good money. It's got the 3.5 EcoBoost, which is what everybody wants. It's, this is, this is gonna be so far outside of my budget. There's no point in even trying to start it. It's a shame. I wish this was maybe a little bit older with some higher mileage on it because I, I would absolutely be a contender with this truck. Now I saw something over here I just had to come check out. It's an old Chevy truck. It doesn't look too good. It looked better. I was about 20 feet further back from it. Oh, and something, something smells god awful over here. Yeah, this truck is in rough shape. Well, I figured I'd check it out anyway. It's kind of hard to walk past one of these old Chevys and Oh wow, I think the frame is broken on this pretty badly. I'm gonna assume it took a heavy hit to the back and whole back end is uh, <laughs> jacked up like she's on shackles or something, man. She's got a nice rake to her though, yeah. Yeah, that was a, damn, that was a gnarly hit. Wow, golly. Tough old truck though, man. Tough old truck, long bed, obviously bed went straight into the cab. I mean, it went deep into the cab rear window long gone i'm surprised this door opens it does <laughs> wow impressive old truck this poor guy or gal got hit hard man i mean real hard i'm surprised the steering wheel ain't bent it ain't steering wheel ain't bent up at all what do you think she got power probably a 5.0 let's put the uh no nah, she's dead as a doornail it's got 251,000 miles on the odometer what a sad ending to this old truck. I mean, it, obviously, she was a little rough around the edges for sure. But still, I, I hate seeing a, an old truck like this that survived meet its demise. Let's see. Oh, it's 5.7. No joke. 5.7. Air conditioning. Man, battery's gone. They, they took the battery. They're like, damn it, I'm taking my battery. Hey, <laughs> do what you got to do, man. Wow. 250,000 miles, damn thing is still pretty clean under the hood. I mean, dusty, but as far as like oil, grease, and grime's concerned, really ain't, ain't much down there. It's not a bad looking truck. Well, it wasn't. It ain't so much a good looking truck anymore. We're gonna take a look at a couple of Carnage cars real quick, and I think we're probably gonna conclude this video. I've got a meeting down at AR headquarters with a, uh, well, somebody that wants to, uh, do some business with me and uh it could definitely add a lot to the channel if uh if we can work something out not not let me get it straight not like a partner not like that i don't share my channel with anybody you know what i mean i'm i'm not looking for a for a business partner type of deal but you know maybe like an investment type of deal we'll see they, uh, they called me up and they said, hey, we got something to offer you. We'd love to meet with you down at the car lot. And I said, well, come on down. They're coming all the way up from, uh, I think, Dallas, maybe Houston. I don't remember, but we'll take a look. Here's your Black Ops Ford, man. These things are slick. Unfortunately, again, carnage. This this thing just, wow. Yeah, Wells Fargo. Yeah. What, what, what do these things cost, guys? Somebody's got to know. Um, 
this has got to be a six figure truck or was back in the day 2015 f-250 super duty look at this man she was she was something wasn't she golly i mean this thing looks like it just went over and over and over and hopefully everybody was inside is okay because every bag deployed i'll tell you what still sticks out, sticks out to me though that american flag right there look at that all the glass is gone except for the glass with the american flag on the middle of it look at that mangled roof golly let me see if i can slide you guys in here you can look around you can see more than i can yeah yeah that's a wrap on that one guys man oh man that was a big truck well i think i'm gonna get up out of here guys we'll see if there's anything else sitting over here that catches our attention before we take off and as i said before if you see something that i missed you know take a look around you see something that catches your attention and you're like hey randy go check that out well holler at me tell me what i missed tell me where it was time stamp it in the video and i will do my best to come back and film it for you assuming it is here in the next video with that i'm gonna get out of here ladies and gentlemen i hope you enjoyed today's video if you did hit the thumbs up button and let me know also consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already subscribed till next time stay safe out there everybody i look forward to seeing you all again very soon in the next one